This video is for educational purposes only. Only test your own hardware. Doing otherwise is illegal. Don't be a skin. What's going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. A few weeks ago, I dropped a video on Apple iOS Bluetooth spam, and that video completely blew up. Since then, that video's gotten over 20,000 views, and we've gotten hundreds of additional people to the Discord and the XFW Discord. For any of you who haven't seen that video, which you should check out before watching this one, I actually show you how to use Flipper in order to send BLE spam to an iOS device. So things like AirPods, Apple TV keep popping up on the screen. Now, in general, that was just annoying, honestly pretty much harmless. I guess you could spam things over and over and make it more or less hard to use a phone, but it was pretty innocuous. Well, this latest spam is completely different. This one straight up crashes your phone. I mean, it's it's pretty nasty. You can just start spamming this and anybody within range, their iOS 17 device is going to crash. Well, that's enough of me just talking about it. Let me show you exactly what it is and how it works. Let's get at it. So right off the top, let's discuss the elephant in the room. Why am I even talking about this? This is a pretty serious security issue. I mean, you can just roll up and crash almost anybody's iOS 17 device without doing much of anything. Now, my understanding is that this actually already has been submitted to Apple as a bug, but there actually was an update and it still hasn't been fixed. So it does kind of still seem like a zero day. If you did happen to watch my last iOS BLE spam video, you'll know that I didn't have an iPhone to show it off. Well, guess what? Since then, I got one right here. Bam. See, I now own an iPhone. It is an iPhone 4S. They can run iOS 15. So unfortunately for this demo, I still can't use it. But that's where the Flipper community comes in. Thanks to Snorin and Amelia, I've got a couple great clips to show you. So let's show you the first one. All right, so this first video is from Snorin. Check him out on TikTok and YouTube. So you're going to see him go into the Bluetooth app for BLE spam just like we did before, but now we've got a lockup crash. So it's going to run that and it's going to start sending commands over to the phone. You'll see that first it pops up trying to pair to an Apple TV and then it starts trying to pair more things and the phone obviously is getting confused. At this point, the phone effectively locks up and can't be used and eventually crashes. I know, crazy, right? So what's actually going on here? Well, for that answer, I reached out to Willie from XFW who worked together with Ecto-1A to have this whole thing set up. So Ecto-1A took a legitimate Apple TV packet and then changed the last three bytes on it just to see what would happen. Lo and behold, turns out if you randomize the last three bytes of one of those packets, it can cause the phone to crash. Well, what's a good exploit without friends? So he sent it over to Willy to see if he could figure out what actually was happening. So of course, Willy being a dev at XFW ported it over to the flipper and tried to see if he could simplify the whole thing. Now, fun fact is that Willy also doesn't have an iOS 17 device. So he had to find a few willing participants, brave people that they are, to test this thing out for him. Well, with some trial and error and some clever coding, he was able to make it a lot more reliable. Well, as soon as he got a good working proof of concept, he sent it back over to Ecto-1A to see if he could actually figure out what exactly is going on. Now, they're not 100% positive exactly what's going on, but they did find out a few things that kind of give an idea of what's happening. The first thing that happens is that it trips an audio process of some sort, which makes the CPU spike to 100%. Well, with 100% CPU usage, it causes the thermal process monitor to not be able to even start. Well, without the thermal process monitor, it's not getting any thermal information. Well, without thermal information, the kernel just completely panics. So with 100% CPU usage, the phone's just gonna hang. And then as soon as the kernel starts panicking, it makes the entire device lock up and reboot. And yes, as I mentioned before, this was reported to Apple before any of this was shared to anyone. Of course, I shouldn't have to keep mentioning this, but do not use this on any device that you don't have permission or you don't own. Using this out in public is really, really bad. Please don't do this. If you are interested in testing this out, just watch my last video on Apple BLE spam and the exact same procedure still applies as far as installing it. Just make sure you download the latest dev release and everything will work just as it should in my videos. So let me show you the second video from Amelia and it actually shows a little bit more of what's going on because it takes a little longer to actually crash, 
but you can kind of see what's going on in the process. All right, so just as before, we're gonna load up the applications and go into BLE spam and just gonna run the crash. So we're running the crash script right now and we're gonna see, if we wait a second, and right now we're just showing off the fact that it's still working, but here it goes, now it's locked up. It took a few seconds, but even here, now we've got a total hang up right now. So we are completely frozen. At this point, the only way to get out of it is actually to run a hard reset. So we're doing the key presses for that right now, and this should restart and give us an Apple logo. But yeah, it just goes to show that it's, it's hung. It is not coming back. And it's our Apple logo, and we're coming back to life. One good thing is it doesn't actually do any real long-term damage to the phone, and the phone typically will restart completely on its own, so it's not like it's gonna lock you out forever. However, again, it kind of shows how powerful an attack like this really can be, and how Apple really needs to step up and do something about it. Again, I want to thank Snorin and Amelia so much for stepping up and giving me this footage. Again, I can't film it on my own, so the fact that the community comes out there to help me out with footage is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. But yeah, that is the iOS 17 BLE crash. It doesn't work on any of the other iOS versions. I know, I tried. When this first came out, we were speculating whether or not something like this would be possible. And it actually makes a lot of sense because if you can send these packets to the phone and it will accept them, it seems like it shouldn't be that hard to manipulate those packets to do something completely different. Obviously, this leads us to the next step, which is what else can this do? If you can crash the phone, which is, you know, kind of a little bit easier, but you could possibly figure out code injection, and that's the really scary part. If that happens, you better believe we'll have a video on it, so stay tuned. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. It helps me out a lot, and it keeps you up to date with all my content. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.